What is up? This is your LA in a Minute, and today we're going to make a run for the border. We're talking about the history of Taco Bell. In 1948, Glenn Bell was inspired by the success of the McDonald's brother hamburger business in San Bernardino. He decided to open his own restaurant, Bell's Drive-In, eventually Bell's Burgers. He sold burgers for 19 cents and was pretty successful, but he couldn't help but wonder what was happening at that place across the street with the long line. That place with the long line was Meatlas, or Meatla Cafe, which is still open to this day. They were serving a folded, heated tortilla filled with meat and cheese. Bell's customers loved them, and they referred to them as, I'm not kidding, Tacos. A few years later, Bell figured out the pronunciation, and he opened up Taco Tia, who sold tacos for 19 cents apiece. The line still didn't match up to Meatla, but he was successful enough to open two more locations in San Bernardino. Bell's success at Taco Tia led to opening El Taco in Long Beach, but that wasn't his last great idea. Bell was inspired enough to hire an architect to create a California mission-style building with his namesake Bell on the roof and the name Taco Bell, which would open on Firestone Boulevard in Downey, selling tacos, burritos, Bell beef or burgers, and tostadas, all with beef. Everything on the menu was 25 cents. The place was a hit, and Bell opened 15 locations before the first franchise opened in a location in Torrance in 1964. The chain expanded rapidly and by 1966 had their first out-of-state location in Scottsdale. It wasn't taken too kindly by their neighbors to the south, who looked at it as um, very inauthentic. But for the record, Arizona has more than 200 locations today. So throughout the years, Taco Bell's creativity and marketing has no bounds. They've created words that don't exist in English or Spanish, such as Enchirito, Quesalupa, Cheeserito, Mexi-Melt, potato Rito, and crunch wrap. But let's talk about that hot sauce for a second. Taco Bell produces 8.2 billion packets of their hot sauce per year. And by the way, these were the original packets. But what makes Taco Bell so notable besides those late night runs is their marketing and advertising. Here was their, in retrospect, ill-advised make a run for the border campaign that launched 59, 69, and 79 cent menu items. In 1989, they launched the first of its kind film food collabo with these Batman collectible cups and also a first of its kind free refills at a chain restaurant. The futuristic rebrand in 1993's Demolition Man was legendary. In the 2007 World Series, they launched a steal a base, steal a taco campaign, which they still do every year. In 2012, one of the most successful product launches ever, their Doritos Locos Taco. They also created National Taco Day in 2018. And just this year, they launched the Taco Lover's Pass, where you get a taco a day for 30 days for only $10. So on behalf of the 7,000 worldwide locations and 40,000 employees, yo quiero Taco Bell.